Hello everyone, this is Explorer. Let's explore South Africa together, which is located in the south of Africa, where you can see the traces of all African, Asian, and European cultures, and which Nelson Mandela described as the Rainbow Nation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel before continuing my video. South Africa, officially the Republic of South Africa, is an African country located in the south of Africa. The border neighbors of the country are Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Eswatini, and Namibia, while the Indian Ocean in the southeast and the Atlantic Ocean in the south and southwest. Besides, in the inner part of the country's territory, there is the state of Lesotho. With 1,220,000 square kilometers, it is the 24th largest country in the world. Although it is not clear where the word Africa originally came from and how it was formed, it is estimated that it is a word that emerged from the use of local tribes or derived from the Phoenician word afar, which means dust. Located at the southern tip of South Africa's Cape Peninsula and first discovered by Portuguese explorer Bartolomeu Dias in 1488, the Cape of Good Hope has played a major role in shaping South African history. In 1497, Vasco da Gama proved that it was possible to reach India by leaving Portugal and passing the Cape of Good Hope and this situation increased the importance of the Cape of Good Hope and thus the South African territory, causing European states to set their sights on the country. The fact that the region was in an important position caused the Dutch to colonize South Africa. When the influence of the Dutch in the region began to decrease due to war and economic conditions, the British took advantage of the opportunity and took South Africa from the Dutch. With the discovery of diamonds in 1867 and gold in 1886, a great wave of immigration came to the country from Europe. The region, which remained under British rule until 1961, declared its independence after 1961. The Republic of South Africa was established by the merger of three different colonies, and the cities that were the capitals of these three colonies continued to be capitals by taking on different functions in the new state. Therefore, South Africa has three capitals. There are three capitals, Pretoria, the executive capital, Cape Town, the legislative capital, and Bloemfontein, the judicial capital with this feature. It is the only country in the world with more than one capital. The population of South Africa is 60,604,000. It is the fifth most populous country in Africa and the 24 rd most populous country in the world. While 66.9% of the population lives in cities, the other part lives in rural areas. If we look at the demographic structure of the country, 79.3% is black, 9.1% is white, 9% is mixed and 2.6% is Asian. The majority of whites are descendants of Dutch, German, French and English immigrants who immigrated to the region, especially since the 17th century. With this feature, the Republic of South Africa is the country with the highest number of people of European origin in the African continent. However, in recent years, the proportion of white people living in the country has started to decline, and since the 1990s, nearly 1 million white Europeans have left the country. South Africa has 11 official languages. The most important of these languages are Afrikaans, English, Soto, Swati, and Zulu. With so many official languages, it is the third country in the world with the most official languages after Bolivia and India. Nearly 60% of the country's population uses Afrikaans as one of their mother tongues. In addition, 22.7% of the population speaks Zulu, 16% speaks Kosa, while only 9.6% of the population speaks English as a mother tongue. The Republic of South Africa also has a national anthem with lyrics in five different languages. Since the country was a European colony in the past, it is one of the countries where the missionary, that is, Christianization activity, is carried out most intensively. While 79.7% .7 of the country defines themselves as Christian, 1.5% defines themselves as Muslim. The total rate of those who believe in local religions, or not at all, is 18.8%. From the 1940s until 1991, 
the apartheid regime, based on racial discrimination, was implemented in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. With apartheid practices, blacks were forced to live outside the city centers, it was made compulsory for black and white people to use F facilities and vehicles in public spaces such as buses and toilets separately. Blacks were prohibited from working in the same position as whites and marrying people of different races, practices such as determining wages, status, and similar rights on the basis of race and placing the black population at the bottom in this process were introduced. Although the apartheid regime, which led to the formation of social rifts, came to an end, there was still no significant development in the socioeconomic field, despite the improvement in the management field. A significant majority of the people of the country, who have been discriminated against, excluded and deprived of public opportunities for decades, still live in the same conditions. About half of the country's population lives in tin huts. While most of these houses only have space for a bed and a small kitchen, the outside toilets are shared with other houses in the vicinity. In fact, although South Africa is the richest country in Africa, it is the country with the highest income inequality according to the Gini Index. While people lead a very luxurious life and get into luxury cars, on the other hand, the majority of them lead a poor life in unfavorable conditions. Access to clean water and electricity is still a problem in these places, with insufficient infrastructure, and educational opportunities are very limited. 3.4 million young people aged 11 to 24 in the country are out of school and have no vocational training. South Africa is one of the countries with the highest crime rates in the world. Across the country, where kidnappings for ransom due to unemployment are high, a woman is raped every four or five minutes, a robbery takes place every five minutes, and an average of 58 murders are committed per day. Unemployment, class difference, poverty, and people living on the streets are the biggest factors in increasing crime rates in the country. South Africans pay more than $3 billion annually to private security companies to protect themselves and their property. If we look at the economy of the country, $1 is 17.12 South African Rand. With a gross domestic product of $411 billion and a per capita income of $6,739, it is among the middle-income countries. Underground resources account for 40% to 50% of export revenues. High-value metals such as gold, chromium, diamonds, coal, iron, and titanium have a great place in the country's income. South Africa, an industrialized and developed African country, has many factories. It is also home to the world's largest beer company, by volume. With the effects of the apartheid era, income inequality in the country is very high. While 4% of whites living in the country live below the poverty level, this rate is over 60% for blacks. The youth unemployment and poverty rate is also more than 50%. In a country where the minimum wage is $217, the average $500 rent for a house forces South Africans to live in tin huts with no running water or electricity. South Africa has a multicultural structure that includes different ethnic groups. The cultures of Asian and European peoples, as well as many African peoples such as Zulu, Swazi, are intertwined here. South Africans are helpful, friendly, and generally happy people. In a society where respect for the elderly is important, the family also has a very important place. South Africa has both a modern and a traditional way of life. There is a huge gap between the living conditions of the rich and the poor in the country. On the one hand, there are the lives of luxury buildings and pool houses, and on the other, there are many low-standard lives in tin huts. There are also many homeless and beggars in the country. Language education has become popular in Cape Town in recent years. The country, which is cheaper than the prices of education in European and American countries, is preferred by international students. If we look at other information about the country, while South Africa covers only 1% of the Earth's land surface, it has 10% of the world's bird, fish and plant species, and 6% of the world's mammal and reptile species. 
A landmark of South Africa, Table Mountain is one of the oldest mountains in the world and has more than 2,200 plant species, 70% of which are endemic. In addition, the country produces about 90% of all platinum metals in the world and about 20% of all gold in the world. Hundreds of people travel to South Africa to do the world's highest commercial bungee jump. Those brave enough make the 216-meter jump from the Blukrans Bridge to the river below. Billionaire Elon Musk, now one of the richest people in the world, was born and raised in South Africa. Born in Pretoria in 1971, Musk moved to Canada at the age of 17 after high school. Nelson Mandela is one of the most important names in South Africa. Mandela, one of the most famous politicians in the world, is known for his movement against apartheid law and his stance against racism. Mandela, who was imprisoned for 27 years for his actions against apartheid, became the first black president of South Africa in the democratic elections held in 1994, after the repeal of the apartheid law in 1991, and took great steps against racism. The African National Council, the party of Nelson Mandela, still maintains its power. In addition, Mandela received great acclaim for his anti-apartheid and anti-colonial movement and received over 250 awards, including the 1993 Nobel Peace Prize. Nelson Mandela, who passed away in 2013, is remembered in South Africa as the father of the nation. If we look at places to visit, you can hike and cycle on Table Mountain in Cape Town, spend time with African penguins at Boulders Beach, and visit Nelson Mandela's house in Johannesburg. You can also swim in the waters of the Indian and Atlantic Oceans and join the safari in Kruger National Park, one of the most important activities in Africa, and if you are lucky, you can see lions, elephants, buffalo gazelles, and many wild animals. We have come to the end of our video. You can share what you know about South Africa in the comment section. To support us, you can like the video, subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell.